The big swell pounding the coast is highlighting a boom in an adrenaline fueled sport off the coast of Sydney. It's called toe-in surfing and it's being led by some of the sport's best known identities who are riding waves bigger and faster than ever before. These are the waves you're not meant to surf. Reefs such as this are hundreds of metres offshore and even if you did manage to paddle out here, there's no way you'd be able to catch the waves, which is why you need one of these. Toe-in surfing is big in the US and this year Sydney has caught the bug. This season has, uh, has definitely been a, an increase. A relatively new sport taken up by some old hands, legendary surfers Tom Carroll and Barton Lynch. I think it's been one of the single biggest revolutions in surfing since I've been involved in it. Out here there's nothing but ocean, which means trust in your partner and don't make mistakes. You're running along this big swell and it's building on, on underneath you. It's, it's, it's a wonderful feeling, it's exhilarating, you know, you, and you've got to use every cell in your body. Out here, waves this size can hold you down and drown you. And if your jet ski breaks down, well, there's no point in calling the NRMA. But there is one thing that you won't get anywhere else in Sydney, and that's a wave to yourself. Ten years ago, days like today and, and, and the big swell days here in Sydney, you couldn't surf. There was nowhere to surf before jet skis. It's just, you know, you feel alive. Denham Hitchcock, National 9 News. Ken, with sport next, you've got the latest on the Wallabies and the Socceroos while history beckons for Manly. Yes, indeed it does. 20 years ago was the last time they defeated Cronulla at Shark Park. And on that day, Noel Crusher Cleal did a job on them. Also a Hollywood teenager in the mix at the British Open.